Hello, it's Karen from Snowball to Pink here. Um, thank you for joining me. Today, I thought we would uh, paint a, a nice little watercolour, uh, a nice little watercolour um, wild meadow, flower meadow. Um, it's incorporating a couple of our techniques that we've done in previous videos. Um, if you check, if you haven't seen those, if you check my playlist, you'll be able to catch up on that if you're a complete beginner. Um, it's fun to do and uh, well, I thought it'd be lovely to do it with you, to share it with you. Um, today I'm going to be using my size 4 Japanese brush, my size 6 round Nick Pro round, clean water and my Japanese watercolour paints. So first of all, I'm activating my um, size 6 round. And we're going to use a technique called wet on dry. The paper, the watercolour paper is absolutely dry. So we're just going to, with a creamier um, consistency of paint, we're going to make sure we get right up into those corners because we want our border to, to kind of show. Um, I'm not worried about white space. That's absolutely fine. But I'm just going to take it down about kind of three quarters of the paper. Um, the paper that I'm using is um, 150 GSM watercolour paper and I've, I've cut it to six by four, which fits kind of in the UK, any standard um, photo uh, frame. So this would make a lovely birthday gift if, you, um, if you're thinking of doing this for somebody. Um, just dabbing out my brush and just lightly, just lightly bleeding that just through. Um, if you want to go in and just ensure that those those corners have got lots of lovely paint on, that's great. And there we go. That's lovely. Right now. I've got some more, um, some kitchen roll here because we do, we're going to be splattering and I do want to preserve the sky. So I'm just going to pop that down onto my sky and then with my size four, I'm going straight into um, forest green and let's just splatter. Lovely, lovely big splatters nice juicy splatters ensuring that we we do concentrate down in the in the bottom of our painting that's that's quite important um i'm just going to take the uh the the um the kitchen towel off and then what we're going to do is on our splatters we're just going to like we did on our rosemary and our grass for our um grape hyacinths we we're just going to pick those splatters up and move our brush in different directions, taking it up to the sky area and just, just catching them really and going each way and every way. Now, you don't have to catch every um, splatter that you've, you've made, but if you do, that's, that's great actually. But, um, don't get bogged down with the thing, oh, I've got to get every little splatter. No, you don't, because we're working in layers on here. Again, rinse your brush out, and I'm going to go into Hooker's Green. I'm going to load my brush up again. I'm going to pop the sky, um, pop my kitchen towel back over my sky to preserve it. And again, I'm just going to make some more splatters now keep it's kind of a controlled splatter really i know that sounds a contradiction of terms but we kind of just need it to be at the bottom and our washi tape will be our guide okay and then just tap, tip off the tap and again with the tip of our brush we're just we're just working our way across 
right? Like so. And again, rinse your brush off. And I'm going into sap green. And just, again, keeping sh sure of those of those corners, making sure we've got that that covered. Now, at this point, if you have got um, a nice tip on your brush, we're going to scratch into our into our painting. But if you haven't, then if you've got a, a sharper implement, you can use that and just do some lovely lovely marks and the paint will run into those into those marks that you've made now we're not breaking the paper we're just we're just kind of scoring it okay now you can do as many or as little as you like again I'm going to go into hooker's green and I'm going to just splatter that Again, keeping in mind that we're going to go down and just not to forget to take that excess off. And we're just using the tip of our brush and we're going in every way. And you, I hope you, the camera can pick this up. Where we've gone in with our marks at the end of our brush or whatever implement you're using, it's, it's actually caught the... Um, it's actually caught the uh, the grass area really nicely. Now, if you want to take them further up, absolutely, you can do that. Uh, into the sky, just move that about. Okay. Let's rinse our brush out again. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into um, Azura Blue. And we're just going to... Yeah, that should be okay. We're just going to, just to drop some little shapes representing lovely little flowers that are nestling in there. Now we're kind of dancing on our paper, but we really do need to keep those, those lovely, lovely uh, white spaces. That's really important that we do that. Now I'm going into Imperial Purple and I'm just going to, with a creamier consistency of paint, I'm just going to drop that in there. Okay, and then just not to forget to take off the excess we're just going to touch it and just let it, just let it bloom really, or bleed. Okay. And we're just making these lovely diffused, these lovely diffused marks. Again, we're going to go into um, our Azura Blue again, creamier paint. And we're just going to drop just drop these again pick up some more load your brush up creamier creamy consistency of paint and just drop that in there if you would just want to offer a little bit more in there as you can see, our paper was still damp and we've got a nice diffused look there, which is, which is lovely. Okay. Again. We're just going to make stronger colours just to 
emphasize that this is a a little a little meadow that we're working in um i think i'm just going to drop a little one in here maybe a little one in here maybe a little one in here okay now as you can see this um this emperor um, purple has has really kind of disappeared into into our wash so if we go back into this time i'm going to use sugar snap um green now this is a quite a yellowy greeny color and it is absolutely glorious it but be sparing with it because it, it can it can kind of take over and just splatter that up there okay so we're just going to splatter a little bit in there it's leaning on the yellow side to um the yellow side to the, to the green it's uh it's a lovely colour to <clears throat> to use just to give you a bit of light into your painting, to, to introduce a little bit of light into your painting. Now, I'm going into sap green. And right on the tip of our brush with a creamy consistency, I'm just going to just anchor those flowers down into our meadow. Okay. And then here... We can just so they've got their feet in the meadow and then just just use the remainder of your brush uh, of your paint maybe just go in a little bit and just just use the excess of, 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 of your paint off okay now it's really important that we do introduce some darks into our painting. Um, don't forget to take them up because we want those lovely, those lovely grasses to sing up and work their way up into the sky. If you do want to just run your brush along the bottom here, absolutely do that if you want, but don't forget to, to flick it, to flick it out because we don't want to see it um, align in our work. We just, okay. There we are. And take your, don't forget to change the direction of your, of your glasses. We'll add some interest to our, to our painting. Now I'm going to introduce a, another colour. Um, we're going to go for, um, it's called uh, Cherry Blossom and it's an opaque watercolour. Um, it's actually bordering on being gouache actually. It's, it's quite almost like a chalky feel to it. Um, we're just going to load our brush and then we're going to just splatter with these bright, super lovely pink. Now, if you want some bigger splatters, absolutely, you can do that. But I think it's to keep control of it. We'll we'll use our our smaller splatters now. Just take the excess off, and as we did before we're just picking up the splatters and we're just moving them about not being precious at all with this we're just using our splatters there we go just 
just to give us the essence of little wildflowers that are, are living in our meadow. So that's that's lovely. Okay, so let's for example shout again. Now, what also what I'm going to use today, I'm going to use um, white, watercolour white. Now that can be, be sparing with this because this can actually kill a watercolour painting. So with your brush, just, I'm not worried if it goes into my pinks. I think that would be quite, quite nice. And I think, I think that will be enough because, as I said before, you, you can kind of go over board with the white splatters and it, it just can kill everything that you've put on underneath. Now, we've got some really nice, because the, the paper was damp, we've got some really nice kind of starbursts and bleeding, which diffuses. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see there, but on that um, imperial purple, the white has just caught that and it, it's just given it a really lovely, a really lovely look. Now I'm going into the glorious maroon, um, which is a lovely winey colour. Now again, a thicker, more creamier um, consistency of paint. Now, if you don't feel comfortable painting straight onto what you've already done, then let your work dry. But for the element of time, I'm, I'm just going to just going to drop these lovely these glorious mauve. They're just beautiful, I think. And not not on too many. Make sure we just dab our... I'm just going to take out... Just tease out a few of these lovely... These lovely marks that we... These lovely splatters that we've done. Just to... Okay. Just so it gives the, the eye a focal point to, to go into. Again, I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to, um, I'm going to go into, uh, Sugar Snap Green again and dip off a bit of my paint and I'm just going to very lightly, very, very lightly just give us a little bit of that lovely that lovely yellowy color okay now going back up into our blue flowers i'm going to go into um it's called sky sky blue and this again is not a translucent paint it's an opaque um paint and it will cover up what you've already put down. Um, so what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to drop just some of this lovely, this beautiful blue into our, into our meadow and maybe just a little splatter down here. Now, if it runs, I'm not worried about that at all. Absolutely not worried about that at all. But I think I will put a little bit of um, maroon, again, um, the wine colour, and take off my excess. And I think we'll just put a little, a little spire there. And maybe one in here always remembering to keep that lighter space in between um, our flowers because it just helps us preserve 
um, the white space, if we preserve the white space, it, it helps us give the illusion of, um, of petals and of flowers. Okay. Um, make sure that you've got all the colour of your paint off on your paper towel. And then we're going back into sap green, creamy consistency of paint. And we're just going to anchor those, those lovely flowers into our, into our meadow. If you want to give them a little few little leaves, absolutely. Okay. And then if you want to just take some, uh, some lovely taller leaves. Yep, you can. Now, I think I'm going to go into um, uh, cadmium orange. And I'm just going to be ever so, let's have a look. I'm just going to um, very lightly, not too much. Just give it a little. Okay, and a final flore. We're going to go back into Lucas Green and just give it a little splatter. Now, if you don't, if you don't like that, you think, "Oh, I don't like that. It's not what I was intending." Just take your paper towel and just blot it out. Or if you would like to um, try a different colour, maybe um, go into your uh, um, forest green. And very lightly splatter there. I've just gone into a zero blue just giving it a quick splatter so I, I think I'm going to call that done um, I am tempted to just let's go for it let's just do it let's uh, let's just go into our lilac and just Give a little, a little splatter, a little splatter there. Right, I'm fiddling, so I'm going to stop now because that's that's a that's a strong indication that you're going to lose what you've already done. So we would normally wait um, for the painting to dry, but. I'm going to see if I can get this off without tearing my paper and um, it's still wet so I've got to be a bit mindful of it um, and there we have it. Just push my watery watercolour over. I'm just going to put it onto a clean bit of paper. And there we have it. We've got our splattery, free, loose, meadow, wild meadow. I hope you give it a go. It is fun to do. It's using the techniques that we've used in previous videos. But I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. And um, if you've got a birthday coming up, it's a lovely way to... Uh, to give them a nice individual present, a unique present that, that you've painted yourself. Anyway, hope to see you again. Take care. Bye.